Newly appointed Prime Minister K.P. Sharma Oli has taken to the post for the fourth time. His first term began on 12th of October 2015, second on 15th February 2018, and the third on 13th of May 2021. UML Chair Oli hails from Terathum district in the Koshi province. He was born on February 1952 and is a permanent resident of Ranamati, Jhapa, which is also where he began his active political career from. Oli is the only living leader from the Jhapa movement era. In four decades of his career so far, he has exhibited an unwavering support for democracy, sustainable peace, social harmony and national unity. The gifted speaker during the democratic movement also stayed in jail for over 14 years. Since the movement in 1989 and the establishment of multi-party system two years later, only won in every parliamentary elections. The only defeat for him was during the Constituent Assembly election in 2008. He won all remaining parliamentary elections after that. However, in the 8th General Convention of his own party, he lost the race for party leadership to the then chairperson Jhalanath Khanal. In the following General Convention, Oli defeated leader Madhav Kumar Nepal to take the party leadership and also won the race in the 10th General Convention. Oli, along with CPN Maui Centre Chair Pushpa Kamal Dahal, played a crucial role in the alliance between UML and Maui Centre for the general election in 2017. It evolved into the unification of the two left parties a year later. However, the government of two-thirds majority broke apart after three years due to disputes between the very two leaders. Oli even went on to dissolve the parliament on two separate occasions and amid the development, party leaders and former prime ministers Jalanath Khanal and Madhav Kumar Nepal left the party and formed CPN Unified Socialist. However, under Oli's leadership and even after that split, CPN UML came second in the elections in 2022. As the newly appointed Prime Minister, Oli now has the responsibility of delivering works that were left unfinished during his previous three years at the helm of the government. He also soldiers the responsibility to rectify past mistakes form a government of national consensus and fulfill his election commitments.